I'm John Robertson, the Warden of the Poison Garden website, and in June 2008 I made a video about Heraclium mantigasianum, the giant hogweed. The footage for that video was of one plant flowering on the banks of the River Till, a tributary of the River Tweed. Well, it's now May 2009, and I'm on the banks of the River Tweed itself, between Norham and Coldstream, on the Scottish side, and behind me, as you can see, is a huge patch of giant hogweed. Now it has been sprayed, there are signs that it is starting to die off. Further along the river there are more plants that have already died off where they were sprayed earlier. But it is an indication of how much of a problem giant hogweed still is and how there is still the possibility of you being seriously harmed if you come in contact with it while you're out walking. In addition to large clumps of giant hogweed, all along the path that we walked as we were out on this particular day, there were individual plants scattered around on the bank, some hiding away. It's very hard to believe that each and every one of these plants will be attacked and will be stopped from setting seed. And remember, one plant setting seed may put 50,000 seeds into the ground and people walking along can spread those seeds all along the bank. The Tweed Invasives project was launched in 2002. Its intention was trying to try and eradicate giant hogweed from both the banks of the River Tweed and the entire Tweed catchment. And it was a project that brought together the various local authorities involved in that area, both in England and Scotland. It wasn't the first attempt to deal with giant hogweed, however. There was an attempt in the 1980s, but it was obviously unsuccessful. I'm not going to talk a great deal about the harm that giant hogweed causes. It's mentioned on the web page and in the other video. But I would just say I now have personal experience of it. The group of people that I was walking with when we saw all these plants contained someone who wanted to deal with giant hogweed by aggressively using his walking pole to, to slash at the uh, stems and try and cut them down. Unfortunately, before I could stop him, he swung his pole in my direction, although I tried to turn away. I felt a spit of something hit my face and sure enough a couple of days later I got a small red burn on my face with just one tiny drop of juice had hit me and caused the problems that giant hogweed can cause. I'm John Robertson and you can get more information on poison plants at thepoisongarden.co.uk